So a couple of days ago, Apple released a new version of the Mac Mini, the Mac Mini with the M2 chip. Not only that, they added the option of including the M2 Pro. Now, the M2 Pro is some serious advanced hardcore computing power, like it's not AI or anything like that, but it's for people who do heavy video editing and stuff like that. Now, I consider myself to be a heavy user of computers. I edit, you know, in 4K videos and stuff like that. But I would still argue that the Mac Mini M1 is the right choice for pretty much all people. So in this video, I wanted to explain the reasons for that. Now, I did want to also mention that the new M2 Mac Mini, the M2 Pro, these damn names, I'm telling you, it did also come with the addition of two USB-C Thunderbolt ports, which is actually quite good. Sometimes I wish I had more ports on my Mac Mini, but two ports is it's sufficient it's not bad i'm not complaining but i would still argue that the mac mini m1 is the most optimal choice for most people especially now with the m2 being released you can probably find really good prices on the m1 version right so the reason i would say is this the M1 chip is so brutally fast, it's so good, and if you look at the charts, if you watch other YouTubers that have made videos comparing the Mac Mini M1 versus the M2 versus the M2 Pro, yes, if you get the M2, you get twice the speed when you're exporting video files from something like Final Cut Pro, and if you get the M2 Pro, your videos will export basically in even half the time of that, right? So needless to say, if exporting video files is important to you, then yes, the M2 Pro is a very good option. But when it comes to like fluidity and just working, I doubt that most people would notice any kind of difference, even pro users like myself. So I am in a fortunate position where I could actually go out and get the M2 Pro version if I wanted to. But honestly, I just don't see enough reason to do it. Like, yes, it's faster. No arguments there. But the Mac Mini M1 is so fast already that I honestly don't feel the need for anything faster. Now, I will give you uh, an exemption of the rule. Like, if you're editing 8K raw video files, then yes, the M2 Pro would do a much better job, definitely. But other than that, I, I honestly believe that the Mac Mini M1 is the best option for most people, hands down. Now, I love the fact that Apple has released a cheap Mac alternative, like the Mac Mini, because basically you can pick your own screen, you can pick your own hardware, you can't upgrade anything on the Mac Mini, that's a shame. That's something that I sort of wish back on, like looking back at the Mac Mini from 2012 where you could actually change the RAM, you could change the hard drives and stuff like that. But what they do is they do this ladder thing where you can look at your options and you go like, oh, well I can increase the storage space, but then it will cost me. Quite expensive actually to, you know, add storage space or you get more RAM and stuff like that. But I will tell you this though, if you're gonna do any upgrades to the specs, when you're getting your first Mac Mini, get the 16 gigabyte version over the eight gigabyte version. Like that's a must, like that's a no brainer. Just trust me on this. Not that eight gigs isn't enough today. It probably is for most people, but in a couple of years, 16 gigs, that will be what you'll need basically. And so if you wanna future proof your Mac Mini, get 16 gigs right away. Now, if we're talking storage space, like I'm using a crucial SSD. This is a four terabyte options that I've connected to the Mac mini. And this is perfect, you know, for my needs. I can even edit directly on the SSD, which is fantastic to use, right? Now, you can also get something like the Samsung T7, which I actually have here also. This is the Samsung T7, also a very good option if you need a fast SSD, right? And you can edit on these things directly. And because this is a non-portable device, it doesn't really matter if you have a bunch of hard drives 
you know, sticking out the back here because nobody's going to notice, right? And it's not going to bother you. It's not going to take up too much of your space. These SSD drives are so small anyway. And there are these hubs that you can use. The Satashi has a hub, which is not too fast. And I personally, I'm not a huge fan of it, but you could use that absolutely. But my main point is, if you're going to do any kind of upgrade to the Mac Mini on specs, get 16 gigs of RAM and just trust me on this one. You don't want to get the 8 gigs. But when it comes to storage space, like if you can afford uh, one terabyte, sure, go for it. But honestly, I personally would pick uh, 256 gigs. That's perfectly fine. And also one thing to mention about the M2, and this is actually something that I caught on another YouTuber's video that if you get like the base configuration, the 256 gigabyte, it's actually going to be slower than 512. But the SSD built in on the Mac Mini M1 is actually very fast. It's something like 3000 megabytes per second. It's insanely fast. I'm talking write and read speed. But I always hook it up to a portable SSD and I edit off of those. And again, you know, as I said, I'm using the Crucial 4 terabyte, which is my favorite external SSD at this time. And I have no issues, no lag or anything like that. So DM2 Pro, honestly, the only thing that would get me to sort of consider getting it, it's the addition of two Thunderbolt ports but other than that, I really don't see the need for it. Like, I don't see why anybody in their right mind would pick the Mac Mini M2. Obviously, if you have the money, if you want to future-proof it and stuff like that, go for it. But for my money's worth, I think the Mac Mini M1 is still... like It's kind of crazy when you think about it. It was released in 2020, and I still think it's the best option out there. It's the most valuable mac computer that you can buy right now anyway this was a little video that i wanted to talk about why i personally would pick the mac mini m1 over the mac mini m2 or m2 pro hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully i'll see you in the next one take care bye